Hey everybody, today is such a beautiful day, it's so cloudy, but it's just a beautiful day outside, I don't know if I can show you, but the point being, I just thank God for this week, I just thank God for my hope and my salvation in the Lord. Because the hope that I have in Jesus is the anchor to my soul. The hope that I have in Jesus is the anchor to my soul. And I finally got the scripture for this. And uh, today... Um, I'm going to start in verse 18, and I'm going to read verses 18 and 19 <laughs> out in Hebrews 6, okay? Hebrews chapter 6. And verse 18, and it right now, it really touches me because right now, <laughs> when you think about the way the world is, a lot of people are wondering who they can count on. A lot of people are wondering who they can count on. And let me tell you something. The only one you can count on right now, more than ever, is Jesus Christ. The only one you can count on right now is Jesus Christ. And let me read this to you. <laughs> Hebrews 6, verses 18 and 19. That by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, because God is not a man that he should lie. We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge and to lay hold upon the hope set before us, <clears throat> which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and that which entereth into that within the veil, because without Jesus in our lives, and when people have nothing to hope for, it literally makes one sick. <clears throat> so what am I saying to you today? That Jesus Christ is the anchor to your soul. He is sure and He is steadfast. He is sure, He is steadfast. And if you remember when Jesus Christ went up into heaven, he tore that veil down so that we can come unto the throne of grace and obtain mercy and help in our time of need. And I'm going to go to Psalm 103. Let me show you the benefits of God. <laughs> I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. The benefits of God. But I love what the first verse says. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. So his benefits, he forgives all thine iniquities, and healeth all thy diseases, and redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. So God forgives us of our sins. He heals us of our diseases. 
and he redeems our lives from destruction and he crowns us with his mercy so <clears throat> I say that to tell you this today that in this day and time that we're living in we need to get into the Word of God now more than ever. Okay? And the Word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword to the piercing and cutting asunder of the soul and spirit and the marrow and bones. And the Word of God also knows the thoughts and the intent of the heart. And I say the Word of God is because Jesus Christ, number one, is God. Number two, He is God made flesh. Number two, He is the Word made flesh. He is the Word of God. He is God made flesh. Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord. Jesus Christ is your hope and He is the anchor to your soul. And it is in Him that you can take your refuge in. Let me go to Psalm 91. <clears throat> and this is talking about protection, safety, refuge, trust, and confidence in God. In Psalm 91, and let me read this. <clears throat> in verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So when you are in that secret place of the Most High, you are dwelling in that secret place of the shadow of the Almighty. For the Lord says to you today that He is your refuge. <clears throat> And he is your fortress. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And in God, you will trust in him. For he shall deliver you from the snare and the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. And he shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you shall trust, for his truth shall be your shield and buckler. For you shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon day. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the Most High, your habitation. There shall be no evil befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, meaning your bodies, your spirits, your souls, your homes, your loved ones, and everything Thing around you. <laughs> For the Lord shall 
and give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. For they shall bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. They shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Under feet. <coughs> Because you have set the Lord's love upon you, therefore he will deliver you and he will keep set you on high. Because you know his name. He shall come, he shall call, you shall call upon the Lord. <clears throat> and he will answer you. And he will be with you in trouble. And he will deliver you and honor you. With long life, he will satisfy and show you his salvation. In the mighty name and blood of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth, as Jesus Christ is your hope and the anchor to your soul, in the mighty name and blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and Great Deliverer. Before I end this. <coughs> And that's what I decree and I give over to you. Uh, tomorrow, I've got to talk to the Lord, but I do know that we will be going to a location tomorrow. And I'm not going to reveal it yet, but I, because I'm not really sure if it's going to be one location or the other. So I'll know. I'll know in the morning where I'll be, but we're going to be. <laughs> doing another prayer, doing another prayer, prayer meeting, okay? And when I go, when I go and I do these things, I'm praying for America, but I'm praying for the nations of earth. And let me tell you something, right now more than ever, even if God sends you by yourself somewhere, God's going to give His angels charge over you. But just know that whenever you make a when you make a decree in the atmosphere from heaven to earth, because you're calling forth God's will to be done from heaven to earth, that's what you're supposed to do on this planet. <clears throat> Every word spoken will be in agreement with other watchmen's on the walls words that are going to be doing these prayer assignments at different times in different locations and different nations of earth. Because even when you think that it's two or three and you're by yourself, because where two or or more are scattered, the Lord is in the midst of you. So, <clears throat> I may look like I'm going by myself tomorrow, but I know that I know in my spirit that other people are going to be praying similar prayers. God is going to take all of those prayers from different parts of the nations of the world. And he is going to put them together. And those prayers are going to be prayers of agreement. Where any two agree as in touching anything on earth, God shall do it. And what we want right now more than anything, I know in America, 
and in the United Kingdom and in different nations of earth is freedom <laughs> from tyranny in this hour. And that is what I'm going to be decreeing and declaring right now that as we come into agreement where two can chase 10,000 and then there's more coming into agreement, I am decreeing and declaring for the nations of earth in the mighty name and blood of Jesus Christ that there will be freedom. Freedom. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom from bondages and tyranny in the mighty name and blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen. God bless you.